the European Union in the Indo-Pacific appears to be limited, uh, quite complicated. And for me, like the EU is apparently divided whether to take the sides of the Quad members or honor its uh, relations with China. And you will probably see the similar problems with Quad members, how to define the Indo-Pacific and what's included or excluded, whether it's uh, security or economic. On the security and military side, EU has a limited capability, except France. I don't know if the EU and even NATO could extend its separations into both Pacific and Indian Oceans. The countries in the region see EU as a trading partner, investor, and market, and the EU has a better technologies and standards. Therefore, EU, along with its strong trading partners, Japan, South Korea, or Singapore, and other ASEAN members, would play a more prominent role in the region. And an EU and Asia connectivity strategies is a good example of such shared interest. So in a nutshell, EU would probably endorse the rule-based order in the region, have a strong interest in economic and connectivity and maritime trade, but it has a limited capabilities and internal division when it comes to the security issues. Okay, I see three opportunities for Mongolia and EU. So for one is Mongolia sits in road to Asia, literally next to the Asia's largest economy, the China. So here the EU can invest into Mongolia and also reach out to the Chinese market. And the second, Mongolia and EU has a shared values in regards to their respective human rights, providing a space to civil society and maintaining the electoral democracy. And so this is the area EU and Mongolia can work together. And also, some economic opportunities in mining and agriculture and tourism and infrastructure development, but it's uh, not a lot. However, there is a, one area can Mongolia and EU can work together is use Mongolia as a, as a good neutral platform for EU to bring together its Asian partners, whether it's a Asia-Europe meeting, Mongolia hosted one meeting so far, or bringing the NATO's across the globe partners to Mongolia, or to deal with the Asian partners of the Organization of Security and Cooperation in Europe, because Mongolia is a member of the organization and Mongolia would be willing to play a neutral role to bring all the partners together in this regard. So I expect that there could be like three scenarios. One is a peaceful, prosperous region, economically well integrated, issues between two Koreas, cross strait and South China Sea disputes have been resolved, and then the region becomes a happy, mutually respected economic community. The second could be a disrupted. The region has been divided along the, the multipolar competitive hostile lines. Economic integration has been slowed down. And although the tensions are high, they all avoid entering into the real military conflicts, but they're all kind of engaged in uh, explicit or implicit uh, geopolitical competitions. The, the other, or, or we don't want to see, is the failed or nothing new. The presence of the intra and interstate conflicts have been growing, and the region becomes a quite like a tensions place.